Hey, Jay with Tennis Junkies. I'm gonna be teaching you a pretty unique serve this week, the reverse windshield wiper serve with topspin. It's a pretty unconventional serve, but if you're a player who likes to have lots of serves in your arsenal or you like to mix things up on your serves, then this is probably a good one for you. So let's get started. windshield wiper serve is best when it's done jointly with the standard windshield wiper and the key to this serve is that it's going to put the opposite side spin on the ball which can be especially tricky for your opponent because these serves have so much side spin on them. Let's get started with the grip. With windshield wiper serves I always recommend the similar grip so if you're a shake hands player I recommend putting your finger on the side like this. What that's going to do is it's going to allow you to get much better wrist motion especially side wrist motion and that's really important for this serve. One of the keys to the windshield wiper serve is the side spin and maximizing it in any way that you can. The similar grip is going to really help you to do that. For the stance on this serve, I basically start by facing the table and then just taking one step back with my right foot. Then as I serve it, I'm going to be stepping back with my left foot, bending my knees and getting low. This will help me to get my body involved and help me to keep my serve low as well. There are several ways of doing the stroke on this serve, so I'll touch on the main points of each method. The way that I like to do the stroke on this serve is I'll start by crossing my arms like this. My racket will start over by my ear or my shoulder and my forearm will be pretty much parallel with the ground. As I swing through it, my elbow is going to pull to the right like this and my wrist is going to do kind of like this half circle thing where I'm going across the ball and a little bit forward on it like this. So kind of like this. As I do it with the swing, like this. It's really important to use lots of wrists on the serve because the wrist is going to be what generates most of the spin for the serve. To get the side spin on it, you can either come across the back of the ball this way, or you can kind of go forward into the side, hitting the side of the ball like this. In either case, you're going to want to use lots of wrist uh, to generate that, that motion. The top spin on the serve is a little bit tough to get, and generally it'll be pretty light, but there are several methods you can use to get the top spin on it. One method I would stay away from is hitting over the top of the ball this way. If you do it that way, you're going to lose out on a lot of the side spin or all of the side spin, and it's also going to be pretty obvious for your opponent that it's going to be top spin coming at them. So try to stay away from hitting over the top of the ball like this. If you're getting the side spin by hitting the side of the ball this way, you can hit a little bit on the northern hemisphere of the ball to get top spin on it, and that's okay. Just try to stay away from hitting clear over the top. Another way you can get top spin on it is by hitting more on the back of the ball. You'll lose out on a little bit of the side spin and it might be a little harder to keep it short, but it'll still be pretty deceptive for your opponent to read and it'll be easier to get top spin on the ball if you hit more on the back of it like this. Another way of getting top spin on this serve is instead of starting over here by your shoulder or ear, you actually drop your racket head so it's below the ball and as you pull across, your racket will be coming up the back of the ball. This is one really deceptive way of getting top spin and it's a pretty good way of doing it. I'll demonstrate the serve here so you can see it. Let's go over how I would return this serve if someone did it to me. Well, the first thing to keep in mind is that this serve has a lot of spin on it, mostly side spin, but also top spin. The best way to counter the side spin on the reverse windshield wiper serve is with the backhand. The backhand actually has a natural cancellation to the side spin on the serve because of the angle on the racket. Because the serve also has top spin, I might step in and just try to drive through it with my backhand. I also might try the banana flip on the return for this serve. If you decide to do the banana flip on the return of this serve, you want to be extra careful because the serve has a lot of side spin on it and the banana flip has a lot of motion. So if you decide to do that, just be real careful with it. So how would I prepare for the third ball after this serve? First thing is be careful on the return because the side spins put on from this serve can make the ball bounce kind of funky on your opponent's return. 
So if you're switching between the regular windshield wiper serve and the reverse windshield wiper serve, the return from your opponent might hop in opposite directions depending on which serve you choose. So it's important to really watch the ball on the follow-up after these serves. The way that I prepare for the third ball after the serve is a little bit tough. I need to prepare for the topspin return because I'm putting topspin on the serve, but in reality, most of the time, I'm actually getting a more passive return from my opponents because of that side spin, it makes it pretty tough to return it. So the way that I like to think about it is I prepare for the topspin return first because topspins move faster than most other balls and I'll have less time to prepare for it. So I'll step away from the table preparing for the topspin. And then if my opponent decides to do something passive on the return of serve, that ball is gonna move much slower, so I'll have time to move back in for the passive return of serve. This can be a little confusing, so don't overthink it. Trust your gut on your opponent's returns and on your movements. In recapping, try to get lots of side spin on the serve by changing to the similar grip and starting on the left side of the ball and swiping hard to the right. You can get topspin on the serve by starting below the ball and coming up on it, hitting the northern hemisphere of the ball or hitting more on the back of the ball. You want to get your body low on the serve because that's going to help keep the serve low as well. And lastly, be prepared for kind of a funky bounce on the third ball and take your time on it. That's all for this week's video. Let me know if you have any questions about the serve or if you have any other serve requests. This is a pretty uncommon serve, so I'd be interested in hearing if you already use it in your game or if you've ever experimented with it. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you like my weekly content. And thanks again for watching and I'll see you next week.